Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use Active Presenter video editing tools for making a software tutorial video. I will also show you my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a software tutorial video like I often do here on my channel. Let's getting started now. Let's open one of my recent projects with Active Presenter right now. I will use this project where I'll show you how to add your own logo using Filmora 9 as an example. This is Active Presenter 8 workspace where I have my main screen recording at the bottom track on the timeline. I also have one title track, and Filmora 9 logo on top of this recording track. Like other video editors, in Active Presenter, anything on the top tracks will be displayed over lower tracks in your video. Looking at my main video recording track, you can see there are some yellow sections along the track. These are freeze frame section which I added to make my voice over sync with my cursor actions. This is one of my favorite features of Active Presenter, which I often use in all of my tutorial videos. To add this freeze frame section in Active Presenter, you can select one or multiple tracks on the timeline, then click this insert time button. For example, I will add a freeze frame section to this position. Firstly put my playhead at the position, then click insert time button. Now I can type the duration of freeze frame at this pop-up window. The default duration is 2 seconds. I can change it to 10 seconds easily. When the freeze frame effect is inserted, you can adjust the duration and position of this section along the track easily too. In order to delete freeze frame effect, just drag the edge of the box all the way to the left. Ok, let's go ahead to the next video editing tools in Active Presenter. Firstly, split the clip at a certain position. You will need to select the track that you want to split. Then, click this button to split. Now the selected track is split into parts, you can move it, or delete it if you want. To undo the action, press Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Alright, let's check out other video editing features such as Cut Range, Copy Range, and Delete Range in Active Presenter. These buttons will only appear once you have your tracks on the timeline selected. To cut a part of the clip, firstly highlight that part by dragging this green and orange marker. Press this button to cut this part. Now you can press Ctrl V to paste that part on the timeline. Again, press Ctrl Z to undo. This copy range button works similar. Press it to copy selected part, and paste it where you want to. Next to it is Delete Range button, which will allows you to delete selected part, and fill in the empty gap with the section on the right. Crop Range button on the right side of the Delete Range button will allows you to delete everything on that track, but keep the selected part only. Another feature of Active Presenter which I often use is speeding up my video speed. To do that, you also need to select the track that you want to change its speed. Then, click on this speed control button. At this pop-up window, type the percentage of the speed you want to increase, or reduce, and click OK to apply. Being noticed that you can also reset your speed to normal at the same pop-up window in Active Presenter. OK, let's look at Active Presenter audio editing options. Once you have a part of the clip selected, you can increase or reduce the volume of that part by pressing the speaker button. Or check this box to mute the audio completely. There are some other advanced features of Active Presenter I often use in my software tutorial videos such as blur a moving object, zoom and pan, or highlight effect. 
However, I will not recommend you to use them if you're using Active Presenter free version because of the watermark on the output. Let's go back to the beginning of the timeline so that I can show you how to create a text title with Active Presenter 8. In Active Presenter, adding text is really simple. Let's delete these titles first. Firstly, I will add a text title at the playhead position. Go to the Insert tab at the toolbar menu on top right of the window. Then select Text Caption. Drag an area on the preview canvas. Now you can type the text, and customize it by changing the font, size and color of the text. That's how easy you can create a text title in Active Presenter. In order to insert an image, similar to my tutorial video, go to the Insert tab too, but you need to select a shape annotation this time. Firstly select the shape, and look at the properties pane on the right. Select Image Fill. Then choose an image on your computer. Now my title is ready. I can add entrance and exit animation for both of them by selecting both track on the timeline. And go to the Animation tab, select Entrance Effect. And Exit Effect. Finally. One of my favorite features of Active Presenter is its pan and zoom effect, which allows you to zoom and pan around the screen easily. Again, this is an advanced features, which will lead to watermark on the output, I will not recommend you to use as a free user. If you want to watch my detailed tutorial about zoom and pan feature of Active Presenter, check out the link I put on top of this video. Well. That's all of my steps to create a software tutorial videos with Active Presenter 8. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any question about Active Presenter, let's me know at the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my future tutorials. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in my next videos. Bye for now.